Damn, it's cold. How long do you reckon before they come for us? Depends on how off course we were blown by the storm. However, it appears the transponder guiding our welcoming party to this location was lost in the crash. Without that, our odds of survival are remote. I suggest we find it. Stay here while I track it down. We're alone out here. place you look.
Thanks for the save. I owe you one. Oui, oui. Le roi, c'est moi. <laughs> Time enough for that later. Head back to the supply drop, and try not to get stepped on, huh? Kovac, Dr. Kendrick Kovac. Don't call me Kenny. Hey, my name's Hutchings. Friendly Frenchman's LaRoche. So, you're not packing a long-range firearm, are you? Not on me. But somewhere in that ship, I got a 30 out 6 old family heirloom. No idea where it's packed. Got my pistol, though. Good enough. Give me a second. I'm going to retire to the relative safety of the interior. Good luck up here. Second. No be. No how to repair. First you have to find the proper repair frequency. Yeah, thanks, boss. I know what I'm doing here. Do it yourself. Huh. Okay, you're all set. Heads up, we got incoming.
LaRoche, you take the high road while I round the bend. Aye, 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 hold him. And that was my introduction to EDM-3. Baptism by fire. The rest of the trip to base camp was uneventful, but a calm didn't last for long. Look, you weren't her only friend on this base. We all miss Diaz. But I tried to warn you, Nevik would never use that as an excuse until they started seeing results. It's not about Jeanette, you know it's not. Oh, so you're still blaming me, though. I never said that. You didn't have to, you just checked out. They're looking for something that doesn't exist. I'm directing my efforts where the science leads. That used to matter to you. It still does, Bonnie, but this isn't my call. Nevik is footing the bill for this operation. They insisted. And that's it. Not a peep from you. Not a... <laughs> it's only because of me that you still even have a job here. Oh, yes, a job answering to... Him. Uh, Dr. Kovach, I to see you made it in one piece. Yes, it's been an eventful morning. Phil Braddock, I presume? Mm -hmm. Dr. Roman? And some time. Feels like yesterday, Kenny. You'll excuse me. Okay. And you must be Jim Payton. Here, you really stepped up out there. You must have a million questions. Yeah, I hope you don't mind being thrown into the deep end. No, sir, I'm here to work. All I need to know is how a man can earn some credits around here. <laughs> Thermal energy. That's the name of the game. Acred blood. I to tell you, boss, we just spilled gallons of the stuff. Oh, it's well more than that. Flows through everything on EDN3. Creatures, tectonics, all the way down to the core. That's what makes life possible in a climate like this. No other substance like it in the universe. And Nevek believes this can solve the energy crisis on Earth. Oh, I believe it can. We're here to study it. Find a way to make it viable, cost-effective for harvest and export. We are leaving no angle unexplored. Very good. Science is always best, without boundaries. Peyton and I got a lot of contracts that'll keep you busy. Construction repairs on the base, but uh, if you want to go home a rich man, you'll take on that hazard pay. Keep us supplied with this stuff. Yes, sir. Just point me to my rig. Peyton, I can't recommend strongly enough that you visit the Quartermaster and get yourself a good hunting knife. You've seen how up close and personal the acrid can get. But first you want to head down to the service pit and inquire with our lead tech, Gale, as to the status of your rig. Welcome aboard, Jim. Uh, Doctor, if you'll stay and chat. Sorry you had to see that. You know Bonnie can have a flair for the dramatic. Is that what that was? I assumed it was sarcasm. Usually she just yells at me. Yeah, well, circumstances are a little different now. I'm sure she'll be a cooperative and productive member of your team. Uh, just a second, Doctor. Jay, any word from LaRoche? Not yet, sir. Can't. Later. Survival tip number four. Always keep your socks dry while working in extreme frigid conditions. Hypothermia is your greatest enemy, so heat retention and moisture management are key to your survival. Avoid submersion at all costs, and keep a backup pair in your emergency kit. Stay dry. Stay alive. Too much of a Nevik toady. But the way he buckles to these crazy rules, man. 
And here we are in a turf war with these acrid, day to day, hour to hour. But if we put weapons on a rig, oh no, then we're not a science op, but a military op, and Braddock doesn't get to be in charge. Like anyone's gonna rat him out for letting us protect ourselves. Nevik survival tip number three. Don't stray from warm areas without an environment suit. Your Nevik design suit will keep you warm and safe in even the most inhospitable environments. Be mindful to charge your suit overnight and stay within range of an umbilical field at all times. Stay happy, stay warm. Thank <laughs> you. 